everybody. Today we're going to look at DC Superheroes, set of nine mini action figures put out by Jack in the Box in 2001. Let's get them opened up and have a closer look. First up in the set is Batgirl, which looks really nice. Nice shiny black. I like the cape. Very cool. So her arms spin all the way around. This one's molded into place, so there is no articulation there in the elbow. This one moves all the way around. No articulation in the head, but her, her uh, leg here does swivel. And then this one here kicks with this little lever. It's got a little spring action there. And it, she comes with a little penguin target. And all you do is just set it down just like this. And then you hold it and give her a kick. Boom. Very cool. I like it. Next up in the set, we have Hawkman. Now, this guy looks absolutely awesome. Look at the detail on the feathers and the wings there. Oh, man, that's so cool. So for articulation here, he can swivel at the waist just a little bit, and his arms can spin up and down just like so. Nothing at the head, but, man, this thing looks cool. So what you do is you fold these wings out just like this here, and it makes them huge. Look at that. That is awesome. You can keep spinning them if you want, but I kind of like them right there. And then on the back here, there's a button. Check that out. See the button? So you just give it a push. It's like this. We'll try to... So we can show you what it does here. And that's all it does is just flaps the wings a little bit. So that's kind of nice. This guy is awesome. Next up, we have Supergirl. Now, doesn't she look nice? Now, actually, she's one of my favorite DC characters. So this is a really nice looking toy. So she's got articulation here in this arm here. And then both her thighs right here can swivel a little bit. Just a little wiggle back and forth. She's got a nice little red cape there. And then here's a lever on the back. Gives her some punching action over here. <laughs> it's kind of kind of goofy looking, but it works. And then she came with a target here, Metallo. So let's see if she can actually punch Metallo and actually knock him over. And... No, not a very strong punch. Not working very well. Nonetheless, she looks nice. And next up, we have Shazam. Now, this is an awesome comic book character. One of my all-time favorites is Shazam, Billy Batson. Very cool, very cool character. So now, underneath here, there's a little button. You can see that. We can pull this cape up a little bit. Now, you see that button? Now, the battery has died. There's a little, there was a little battery in there that uh, was supposed to light him up a little bit, but I think it's dead, so it doesn't turn on. It's supposed to light up a little bit, give him some lightning effect, but that's okay. So he's got some... Basic articulation, you can swivel his arms back and forth, and that, again, is molded right there, so no, no elbow articulation. And he has a swivel here at the waist. Yeah, this guy is awesome. Very nice-looking toy. Next, we have Batman, everybody's favorite, the Dark Knight. Very nice. This one's fantastic. Oh, this very impressive toy here. So he's simply molded. There's no articulation here, but you really don't need it for the gimmick. You take his batarang here. It's got a string in there. You pull it up just like so, and you can attach this to whatever you want, and then let him go. <laughs> Something so simple is very amusing to me. This guy is awesome. And next up, we have Jump Kick Robin. Now, this guy's kind of cool looking. I like this. Now, there's, there isn't any articulation. He's just simply molded, kind of soft, rubbery type plastic. And he comes with this little catapult thing here, which you had to attach. You had to take this round part here and peg it on here. And then all you do is you place Robin on top here and hit that, and it launches him into the air. And he comes with this target the Joker. So let's see if we can get that to work. Now, honestly, this figure is kind of warped, as is the cardboard here. That's why I'm having a hard time standing it up. Yeah, the feet are kind of small, and it's very, it's kind of a heavy figure. So let's see if we can get it to actually balance on here. I've, have it, I've been having a hard time trying to get it to stay on there. So you kind of have to get them just right. Let's see if we can get them to stay on here. We can launch them. And... <laughs> nope. <laughs> Either way, you get the idea. Yeah, he's kind of cool. Next up, we have Wonder Woman and her Lariat of Truth. This thing's kind of nice. Look at that. Some decent paint for this type of figures. You know, it's just simple, soft, plastic, rubbery type figures, but they look fantastic. I really like the way these look. So she's got articulation here in the arms. You can spin that. And then in her thighs here, you can kind of spin them around a little bit too. And on the back here, you can see a little wheel. You just spin that around just like that, and her lasso spins around. That is so awesome. I like it. And next up, we have Superman, the Man of Steel. Look at this guy, huh? He looks sharp. I like this. Nice shiny red cape here on the back. Oh, yeah. So here's his gimmick. Push the legs together, and you can see the arms moving up and down just like this. And he comes with a couple of links of chains here, plastic chains. And what you do is you link them together just like this here. Get them linked together. And then grab the figure just like so, and then carefully place it over his shoulders see if we can get this to work right now considering these are kids meal toys they're not they're going to work 100 percent every time but let's see if we can get it just right without this popping apart and he's supposed to use his brute strength and break apart the chain let's see if we can get this 
and boom, you squeeze the legs together and you bust the chain out. Very nice. I like it. And last up, we have Armor Up Steel with John Henry. Look at this. So now this is considered an under three toy. So there's zero articulation. It's basically soft plastic. It doesn't move or do anything, but it does look fantastic. It looks really nice. And then here is his armor here to create steel. And all you do is you take John Henry, you place him in the armor, just like so, snap it all together, get it all pegged in just like this. And once he's put together, now you have steel. Check that out. Now, it's just a basic, generic-looking toy, but for what it is, yeah, this guy looks awesome. So there you have it, everybody. DC Superheroes, set of nine toys put out by Jack in the Box in 2001. Just a wonderful little set to have. I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. We'll see you next time.